I can safely say that on the internet, there are a lot of idiots. People that aren't very smart, that basically jeopardize absolutely everything. Now, you may have heard that the game Starfield is coming out very, very soon. It's actually became such a meme that Todd Howard wants you to buy every single game he makes with Bethesda, because people online will basically laugh as Todd Howard, you know, going on message boards or Twitter and basically saying, hey, you wanna buy my game? You want to buy Starfield? Of course you do. But before we get into the story, I do want to say I am at the Insomnia UK Gaming Festival in Birmingham. I know, pray for me. Between the 8th and 10th of August. And because I'm generous, if you click on the link down in the description, you can be entered into a giveaway to get two free weekend tickets and also an exclusive piece of merch. This little, this little cap here looks so good. It looks so good. It really does hide my hairline very well. Now, some review copies have been given out for Starfield and also there has been loads and loads of leaks. I think one of the first leaks that came out with someone in Russia, but again, like, good luck tracking them down. Uh, I think there were some videos that got posted on YouTube, and they got taken down pretty much instantly, probably shared all over the place. Now, that being said, there are loads and loads of leaks going around, but what people usually do when they upload these leaks, they'll do it somewhere anonymous, or they'll have some kind of, like, burner YouTube account, probably behind, like, Surfshark VPN, NordVPN, ExpressVPN. They'll have, like, three VPNs stacked on top of each other, and then probably some kind of tour browser, just so they can't be tracked down. Because obviously, if you're shown to be leaking a game that hasn't been released, there could be huge legal ramifications. Like, for example, that kid that leaked GTA 6, and then actually nothing happened to him, and he was completely let off scot-free because he wasn't, like, mentally capable of, like, being on trial or something. That guy definitely had Saul Goodman as a lawyer, but this is not the same situation. So today, we have a gentleman called Darren Tyrone Harris, and he was actually smart enough to leak 40 minutes of Starfield gameplay. Now, again, most people were leaking stuff that there are multiple leaks, but they did it anonymously. He didn't. He uploaded it directly onto his YouTube channel, showing <laughs> his full legal name. Now, Bethesda, obviously, they sent, like, a copyright strike. They took it down, which pretty much works instantly, but the damage had been done. You had loads of people saving the video and sharing it all across Twitter. I'll be honest, Twitter is now, like, the modern-day pirate bay. I, I have seen so many tweets of people showing off, like, the entire Super Mario Brothers movie, like, a complete rip of it, and pretty much any upcoming film, because Twitter doesn't really care. Like, every time something gets taken down, there'll be like 15 more re-uploads 10 seconds later. Now, I do want to say I've seen some gameplay of Starfield. It does not look very good. I'm actually terrified that we're going to have a forspoken situation. What a lot of people seem to forget about Bethesda games, because they seem to release one like every generation at this point. So the people that turn 30, they actually forget what Skyrim was like. Every single Bethesda game that comes out is kind of broken on launch. And then they just have the thought process of, you know what? We'll patch it up later. We'll fix it later. We'll make it playable a little bit later. And you know what? We'll throw in some free DLC. Maybe some horse armor again from Oblivion, even though you have to pay for that. Apparently there are some really bad features in the game as well. There are loads of planets that you can land on, but the majority of them are just completely barren. Like, I've seen a clip of one guy running from, like, one side of the planet to the other, and he couldn't even explore the planet because he got hit with an invisible wall. And if you try to land in one of the out-of-game barrier areas, it'll instead teleport you or land your ship into a completely random spot on the planet that just got generated. So, I'll be honest, it's not looking very good. I can so easily see that there's going to be, like, a crow cat video on this or something, just completely tearing the game down. I remember even seeing gameplay, not leaked gameplay, Play, like actual official gameplay of Starfield. It was like some gun combat and the laser rifle the guy used, he, he was barely using it. It was just a complete game journalist playing the game. But you could see that the laser rifle they were using, it was literally just a reskinned laser rifle from like Fallout 3 or Fallout 4, like, like with a couple of modifications stuck on top. So anyway, back to Darren, the world's most intelligent man. So he leaked 40 minutes worth of Starfield, which, you know, probably equals to about a 40 year jail sentence. But this is the worst thing, right? So he wasn't even arrested for that. He actually was arrested for a completely different crime and because of that crime they then realized that he was the guy that leaked Starfield and they're now going to look at adding that on top of his other charges. So this guy is facing three charges. Theft of property for a thousand dollars or less. Theft of property between twenty five hundred and ten thousand dollars. And the possession of marijuana which is a controlled substance in Tennessee. And also apparently this guy wasn't just leaking gameplay of Starfield. He got a bunch of review copies from the game. I have no idea how he did that. He probably just hung outside like the back factory Bethesda and slip someone like $50. But he was then using those like leaked 
review copies of the game. They weren't even like full release and he was selling them. Now again, that theft of property charge between $2,500 and $10,000. I have no idea how many copies of Starfield this guy had. Bro probably had like a truck's worth. I imagine like 700 copies of Starfield for the PS5. They finally got a game. They sold like hotcakes. Now again, I do want to say this guy is not the only person to leak Starfield. Probably the most stupid guy, literally using his full legal name on his YouTube channel and then also going ahead and trying to sell copies. Not even related to him, but for example, there have already been massive spoiler leaks of the game online. Now, I imagine the kind of people that post these spoilers online are the same kind of people that like release the ending of a video game literally the day it drops. You know those kinds of channels that just seem to farm video games to get the ending, hoping that one of their videos bangs? It's like you'll get a game that comes out day one and then the ending of the game already came out the day before because they requested a review copy, not to actually play the game, just to grease out a playthrough for their YouTube channel. Apparently it's pretty commonplace now at the minute as well for like someone to send a link and then that link takes you to a Starfield spoiler. This really brings me back to like, for example, when one of the last Harry Potter books came out, The Deathly Hallows, and you actually had people driving around at the midnight release with all these like children lining up to get the latest books. They could finally find out what happened to Harry and Ron and Hermione and Hagrid. And then you'd have people driving around in their like shitty Ford Fiesta with a megaphone basically saying, Snape dies, Dumbledore dies, Harry dies, just completely spoiling the book. So apparently the way as well that Darren was actually able to get so many copies of Starfield is that he stole them from his place of work. I have no idea where he works. Maybe it's like Santa's Grotto or something, because I, I, I have no idea like what place you would work where you just leave copies of an upcoming, of your biggest upcoming game of the year, just lying around for people to steal. Like like they weren't even like, they weren't even counted for inventory or anything. Like, like that is so... You literally have corner shops, right? So if you go into like a shop or something and you steal some gum or some like polo mints or something, they will know you've done that because they take inventory at the end of every day or the end of every week. And if they haven't sold that inventory, they then know, okay, someone robbed it. They won't even do, they are treating copies of Starfield less than polo mints. That is very worrying and should probably set the precedent of how excited we should be for this game. I'm sorry, I'm getting so invested in this. My voice is breaking every two seconds. So you can go into his YouTube channel right now and this guy has gone completely incognito off the radar like this guy knew that homeland security was coming for him and he ran 50 miles his profile picture is just black his banner is just black and then nothing no videos nothing he's just got like a favorites playlist which is just like some rap music or something now like i said though these leaks are really damaging bethesda i mean no one likes getting story leaks that sucks like why play a game if you know what's going to happen at the end anyway like the gameplay has to be really good but like i said there are so many articles on these like quote unquote invisible walls the worst thing is, okay, so for example, No Man's Sky, that game, when it launched, everyone hated it. It was terrible. It was horrendous. Even base game No Man's Sky, as barren and empty as it was, that would still let you run around the entirety of a planet. You can't even do that in Starfield. You will just hit an invisible wall like you're playing Fallout 3. It is actually really worrying that we're probably going to have another No Man's Sky situation here, but instead of this being like an indie studio, this is going to be an actual AAA game with millions and millions of dollars behind it. And the thing is with these invisible walls, you've literally had people working on the game that have tweeted stuff, like this guy, DC Deacon, saying, yep, if you want, walk on, Brave Explorer, replying to someone saying, if I land on a planet, will I be able to walk the entirety of the planet? Now, just to be a little bit of a contrarian, I, I get it, right? Like, you know, people are complaining saying you can't walk an entire planet, but the way I'd respond to that is, what's the point in being able to walk an entire planet if that planet is completely barren, if there's no resources, if there's nothing to do, if it really is just a bunch of less sad rocks, what is the point of being able to walk across that entire planet. It feels nitpicky for the sake of it. But that being said, Bethesda are hyping this up to be like their biggest game ever. And that's that kind of worries me about the company a lot because they always seem to basically hype up that each upcoming game is going to be bigger. But bigger doesn't always mean better. I know the irony of me parasitical saying that, but I, I, you get the idea. I would much rather a smaller contained area with loads of interactables, loads of quests to do, just loads of eye candy, just stuff to look at and go, wow, that's cool. Then a big, empty, open plane of just nothingness apart from dust and rocks. And apparently, I think I read online as well, like less than 10% or 5% of the planets you visit are actually going to be like habited and they're going to have any kind of life. The rest are going to be barren, which probably means there won't be anything to do there. So yeah, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit worried about Starfield. These leaks have not helped the game. Uh, but honestly, that, that Darren guy I talked about earlier, not very smart. Not it, not a smart guy at all. It's, it's like, if you just didn't have the weed, bro, you probably wouldn't have got caught, Jesus.